All right, how y'all doing? It's me again. Uh, today we're gonna go over how to adjust push rods on an iron head. I'm only gonna show you these two. I'm kind of missing something over here. Figure that out later. Anyways, step one, as always, tech manual. And in this, it is under adjusting your tappets, right? I don't know if I can get a shot of that. If you wanna try to pause your screen and read over that, it's about the best I can do for you. There you go. Alright. Anyways. The secrets to doing this. Step two. After you open your tech manual. Turn to the page. You want to make sure that your engine is cold. Right? Next thing you want to do. Is uh, you know your intervals. Your intervals for this are 500 miles. And then again at 1000 miles. You do it initially at putting your shit back together, do it again at 500 miles, do it again at 1,000 miles, and then every 2,000 miles thereafter. So that's kind of roughly every oil change. I like to change my oil in these regularly. Anyways, next thing you want to do is you want to figure out how to hold it up. I found this bolt, and I stuck it in a hole on this junk engine, and I ran some wire. Now what I do Normally, if this was, say, in a frame, I would lift this up, put the wire under it, run it up, wrap it around the frame, easy day. Um, if you're not a single guy in your mid-twenties, then you probably have, like, a wife and a clothespin. You can put a clothespin right here and hold it in place. I've put zip ties around the bottom of these things and tied them kind of tight, and then ran duct tape up and put it over the frame. Um... Anything you got to do to help hold these out of your way. It's not needed to hold this up. It just makes life so much easier, man. I'm telling you. Anyways. Now that we're set up to actually do the adjustment. We have our thing run. We got our tech manual open. Step two is you make sure your tappet is all the way at the bottom. You see this one here is all the way at the bottom. This is your nut. Let me see if I can't. Yeah. You see here what your nut's setting on. This piece. That's the top of your tappet, and when it's even with your gasket, chances are you're going to have a cork gasket. This one's got blue rubber gaskets in it, but once this is even with your gasket, you're at the bottom. And all that means is that your valve is closed, and you don't have any, uh, well, brain fart. You don't have any tension on your push rod. That's all that means. So now that we got that done... We're going to need to break that loose. Easy day. Take your 7 16 By the way, I'm sorry. Here's the tools you need. That's it, man. Three tools. Half inch, 7 16 flat tip screwdriver. Boom. Take your 7 16 pop this loose. Bam. Now you can actually adjust your push rod and move this all around. So I'm going to go down, right? Now it's loose. See how I get this up and down play? Up and down. Up and down is bad. No up and down and no side to side is bad. I'll explain that in just a second. This means that it's way too loose, right? Every time it goes up, it clanks and clacks and it's just fucking loose. And you can bend your push rod, you can hurt your motor. So the way you fi fix that is you tighten up on your tappet. Tighten and tighten and tighten and tighten. Up and up and up and up. Alright, now I'm kind of tight. But I can't... I can't move it back and forth with my fingers right now. So it's too tight, right? Yes, it is. So now what you do is you go back a little bit. Right there, that's what you're looking for. You want to be able to have some side-to-side -side movement. Easy, just these two fingers back and forth. Easy day, right? And absolutely no up and down play. That's the sweet spot. Then you take your 7 16 bolt, or not, I'm sorry, and you tighten it down. There you go. Tighten it down. Now, because I only got one hand today, and I don't have any fancy way to set the phone down, I'm going to show you this with one hand, kind of. But, you put your half inch on top, 7 sixteenths on the bottom, and you tighten this nut down. And once that's tight, actually, you know what? I'll go into detail. Once this thing, uh, if you want to tighten this down, you're going to need a crow's foot and a calibrated torque wrench and inch pounds. Because this right here, and it needs to be between 0 to 20 inch pounds, 
but this nut right here gets torqued down between 8 to 10 inch pounds, so 9 inch pounds will be technical. So you need a crow's foot and a torque wrench. I never do that. Just don't crank down on it, man. 8 to 10 inch pounds is like, eh. That's it. That's all I need. Side to side, no up and down, adjusted. Cool. Now, next thing you might be saying is, oh my god, he didn't show me how to take this thing off. Your little pressure cover thing. Now, you see a lot of these, and they're broken right here, because people just stick a fucking screwdriver in them and go to town and try to rip them out. Well, unless you have an old engine that's been assembled and disassembled a million times, you probably can't do that. So what you do, you take a screwdriver, this is sticking out a little bit on the edge, and you push down, and I get my screwdriver up under it, and then give it a twist. Boom, right there. Wasn't for my phone, that would have hit me in the face. All right. After that, we can move our wire over. One-handed, of course. I'm that badass. There we go. Oh, cool. This tap, it's also... Let me, real quick, I'm going to move the engine and adjust it by hand. And then I'll show you what a tap it looks like when it's up. All right? Because both of mine are at the bottom. Hang on just a second. This is really, really hard to do when I can only move one piston and, <clears throat> damn, <sighs> oh man, all right, you know what, screw it, got the screen dirty, hang on, there we go, cool, adjust, bam, make your tap it look like that, god damn it. I don't have the ass in me right now where I don't want to waste your time to try to pop this all the way up. So take your 7 16 one more time. You see this one right here? That is too tight. God, that one's tight. All right. 7 16 Boom. Boom. Loosen. Oh, that one actually tight. going you can kind of feel it in the bolt when it gets to the point when there's no tension on it you know what I'm talking about I'm sure you do if you're watching this you ain't scared to wrench about there we go cool so that one was too tight now it's just right side to side see so let it focus there we go Side to side, no up and down. Perfect. So now I put my half inch back on top and tighten it down to the 7 16 And that's adjusting your push rods, man. Boom. Easy day. Uh, one other thing, I seen a guy do this once and made me laugh. When you do these, this top part, right? These pull up, okay? And then you take this. I seen a guy put this on without that and it just shot oil everywhere and we all laughed. We can take this and slide it in here. And then I like to slide a screwdriver up here at the bottom. Like that. And then just pull it up and pry it right in. Easy day. Locks in place. I like it. Now, if your push rod is too loose or too tight. Or I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Once you get it to this point and get everything back together. Rotate your engine over a couple times. Don't start it yet. Just rotate it over and then go back and recheck all your work. It could be still be tight, could still be too loose. Your lifters are hydraulic. No, not hydraulic, I'm sorry. But your cans might not be all the way at the bottom. You might have something wrong. Just go through, check it a couple times. You know, you don't want to end up screwing your motor up from something simple like a push rod adjustment. Another thing, if you think you have loose push rods, 
then you're going to want to check uh, a couple of symptoms. You're going to have a lot of chattering noise. This is going to be kind of loud overall, right? You're going to hear like ching, 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 ching. And if you want to fix that, go on out to your local Harbor Freight store. Get yourself a mechanical stethoscope for like four bucks. And it's really good at helping you zoom in on problems on an iron head motor. Right? Now, say your push rod's too loose or too tight. And you pop it out because you think it might be bent. Boom. I happen to have one right here handy. If you think it's bent, all you do is you roll it on a flat surface. Glass is ideal. Granite countertops, that'll work. Butcher board countertops, that'll work. If you got a glass stove top, roll it up and down the glass stove top, glass coffee table, whatever. If it's, if it's got a little bump in it, junk. Gone. Trash. Right? That's really it. Um, I think next thing I might do is go over, you know, shimming your can shafts. Kind of controversial, but sometime Harley came out and said you ain't got to do it. The guy that showed me how to build engines does it, so I'm going to do it, and the guy I show, he'll probably carry on the tradition. Anyways, as always, you know, comments, questions, concerns, post them up, let me know. If you like the video, click that little like button down in the right corner and subscribe, man. Um, I'll try to put out another episode here in the next week or two. I'm kind of busy, so see what happens, though. Y'all have fun.